So my friends, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the video that I did with Zach's Tech Turf where we built this PC, which was the best $300 PC that we could build in South Africa at the time. And I thoroughly got my butt handed to me because even though I had a pretty decent graphics card, the GTX 970 Hall of Fame, and he had an RX 480 and they're like roughly comparable in some games, uh, 480 wins in others, I completely lost because I only had four gigs of RAM. And it got me wondering, how bad was I actually bottlenecked and how much should people who have four gigs of RAM actually upgrade because the 970 is not really a high-end graphics card anymore. It's two generations old. You can get it for $100 use. And we struggled to get playable frame rates in some of the most modern games because of it, even though we're running an i5-4590S for the processor. You got four cores boosting up to 3.7 gigahertz. It's clearly, that's not the bottleneck. So that's where today's video comes in. I picked up an extra four gigs of DDR3 and we're gonna put it in the system and see just how much we can uh, we can get improvements off of this. But we'll go over all of that after I tell you who today's video sponsor is. Me and our website, UFD Deals. You see my friends, we're talking about buying RAM and if you wanna buy it new, we have a website where we conglomerate all the best tech deals that we can find around the internet for things such as RAM, for graphics cards, for monitors, for hard drives, anything and everything you might wanna put in your gaming system. We have a website where you can just find all the good deals. So if you go to UFD.deals, you'll be able to find them and save money on that kind of stuff. And it makes so much sense that we would sponsor a video about buying stuff so that you could actually buy it from us. And don't forget that we currently still have our 200,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. And thanks to you guys, it's more like 213,000 subscribers, but you guys can win an RTX 2080 Ti as well as a one terabyte NVMe drive. Links to enter that will be in the video description. Check it out, get entered, win a 2080 Ti, you know you wanna. So the worst part about this build is the four gigs of RAM. The second worst part of this build is the <laughs> Uh, 7200 RPM hard drive, which is just completely bottlenecking my ability to get this video set up properly because I'm trying to demonstrate just how badly the games run with uh, only four gigs of RAM. I know, if you look, it's at 100% disk utilization and I'm trying to launch a game to show you how badly modern games run with only four gigs. <gasps> okay, maybe four gigs of RAM isn't the worst part about this build. I think it's the hard drive. Oh gosh dang. Never build a PC without an SSD, folks. Reese, how long does it take to die of old age? Three. Okay, I think I'm at two right now. Oh, this is painful. Oh, you play launcher. This was supposed to be a quick video. Just kidding. Well, part of it is also currently at four gigahertz. We're using over half and I haven't even launched the gosh dang game yet. So we're at 2.1 gigahertz or 2.1 gigabytes out of 3.9 and we're at 100% disk utilization. This is all, this is all just bad news bears. None of this is any good. This system sucks. But obviously with a hard drive, once you get everything loaded, you'll actually be able to play the game and it's only in cutscenes and every time you load into a new game on a battle royale that you have to deal with the hard drive speed. But for the most part, you know, while you're actually playing, the, uh, the hard drive doesn't really affect you too much. It's just this part, the excruciating waiting. We're at three gigs of memory usage and the game hasn't launched yet. 3.2, 85%. That, that puppy's just climbing and the game hasn't even opened. There it goes. Yeah, you can see we're at 3.5 gigabytes of RAM usage and it's barely even loaded at this point. No, don't do this. Why you do that? Don't be that guy. Of it. So we did all of the benchmarks for the $300 gaming system at 1080p medium settings. And the 970 is actually perfectly capable of handling high settings, as you can check out in our video where we check and see if the 970 is worth it in 2019. You can watch it right there. It actually can get over 60 FPS in most games at 1080p, even the modern ones that have come out within the last two years. But as soon as this game loads, I'll show you just how badly it, it works with only four gigs of RAM. Reese, I'm gonna take a nap under the desk. Can you wake me up when it's time? Okay. okay. I can't, I can't deal with this. I'm still not recovered from my sickness. I don't wanna. All right, I'm done. All right, all right. Uh, how do you, oh, it has a loading bar. It didn't have it when I went to bed. So that's progress. Great googly moogly, it might be working. I'm gonna harass Rickus while I wait. Five hours later. Oh, this is just deplorable. Oh, look at, oh, that is, ooh, that four gigs of RAM really, 
really go in something proper. Oh, that's lovely. Wow, 40 FPS with gigantic dips. You can see the GPU and the CPU are barely working. That RAM is just hitting the system hard. This is only at medium settings. This isn't even, this isn't even fancy. I can't watch this anymore, I'm sorry. So I've, I've already done all of the benchmarking for the four gigs of RAM. I just, okay, no, I'm shutting it off, I don't care. I, I can't, I can't wait for you to reboot yourself, my friend. Let's, uh, let's get the other four gigs in. Broken. You good, bro? Right. Broken. I'm I'm broken. Okay. Oh, this is a this is gonna be a tight squeeze. Reese, do you have baby hands? I might. Okay, I might need your baby hands in a second. I've got Sasquatch hands. I legit think I might be descended from the Yeti. I've got the finger dexterity of a platypus. Oh no, the graphics card's in its way. Gosh dang it! This is a tiny case. It's not meant for this. There we go. Clip down. Eight gigs of RAM finally installed. Ugh. And now it's upside down, perfect. Inverted cases, they confuse me. The system memory size is different from the last startup. The most common reason is the removal of memory from the system board. Pressing F1 will record the configuration. If this message persists, verify that the memory, okay, let's just press F1, see if it works. Uh, okay, okay, that's easy peasy. We're a YouTube channel with 200,000 subscribers. Why do I have to deal with slow computers? Why? Why? Whose idea was it to do this? Yeah. Shut up, are you ready? Are you, are you gonna work for me now? You, you got life in you? Come on, slow boy. You can do this. I know the hard drive is really weak, but you can you can be better than, uh, what? No. That was a terrible Wally impersonation. I mean, we have more space on the RAM, but uh, hard drive's still dying. Reese, buy me a hard drive, please. SSD, 120 gig at least. At the very least, that's all I need. I'll take it. Where, no, where's my, gosh dang it, where's my freaking overlay? Five hours later. There we go, now it's working. See, before when we were loading the game, it was stuck at like 3.6 gigabytes. Now it's at 4.3. It obviously was starved. Let's load the benchmark. Hopefully it doesn't take too long naps in order to launch. Because you see, friends, when the RAM runs out of space, what happens is it sends it to the hard drive. And as we see, the Computer is already slow enough with just a hard drive in here and no solid state drive. When the RAM then has to send everything to the hard drive and the hard drive's already trying to do something else, then we run into these issues where we get tremendously long load times, the game can't run properly because the textures are being read off of the hard drive, not the RAM, which is super fast, and it turns into a miserable experience for everybody. You can do it. Okay, no, this is taking forever and a day still, but as you can see right here, it's using five gigabytes of RAM, which is much, much better, over 1.5 gigabytes extra utilization, because even when you have a certain amount, different processes reserve different pieces of RAM. So even though we had four gigabytes, the total access was only 3.6 because the rest was reserved for other applications. Now that we have an extra four gigs, it can take a whole lot more and just say, this is mine and I'm gonna be happy with it. Five hours later. What is that? Okay. Oh, there it goes. So even though the, I mean, the FPS is doing pretty decent there. 5.8 gigabytes of RAM, there's a little bit of stuttering. It's nowhere near as bad as it was before. We were hitting four to 20 FPS. Now we're averaging above 40, which is very, very, very different. And the reason I'm showing you guys Assassin's Creed Odyssey is because in the benchmark that benchmarking that we did, this was actually the worst game as far as which one needed more than four gigabytes of RAM in the system. We tested a total of seven different games with four gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of RAM. And yes, as I mentioned, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was by far the one that saw the most improvement. It went from averaging 23 FPS to averaging 50.7, which is a 120% increase for increasing the RAM by 100%. And of, of giant note there, the 1% and 0.1% lows are tremendously different. Instead of having 0.1 and 0.1 for the 1% and 0.1%, it's 30 and 26, which is much better. 
Then in Far Cry 5, what we saw was a 47% increase, going from 51 FPS to 75. In Rainbow Six Siege, which is a game that's been out for a while, we actually saw the least amount of improvement coming in at 2.88%. The game ran at 170 plus FPS regardless. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we saw a 50% improvement going from 43 FPS to 64. But again, check out those 1% and 0.1% lows. With four gigs of RAM, the RAM has to send information to the hard drive. And so we're getting major stuttering in the video game while we're waiting for the hard drive to respond. Whereas when we have eight gigs of RAM, none of that is occurring. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, we got an improvement of 7.4%. Again, an older game that's already running over 100 FPS with the current setup. Ghost Recon Wildlands, we saw a 31% improvement from 54 FPS to 71. And then in Resident Evil 2, we went from 75 FPS to 82, which was an 8% improvement. But again, the biggest improvement on all of this is not just the frame rate itself, the average frame rate, but rather the frame stability. So we're not sending information to a different place to get it back and having to wait so that we have drop frames here and there it actually all just takes place at the same time and we're not losing out on a whole lot. And I think the basic conclusion for this video is whether you're playing older games or you're playing newer games, whether you have a $50 graphics card or you have a $600 graphics card, four gigs of RAM in 2019 is a deplorable piece of nonsense that probably shouldn't exist. And considering that I picked up this extra four gigs for I think it was 190 Rand here in South Africa, which converts to about $14, you guys can afford it. Afford the increase in RAM, get an extra four gigs. It's not really like, don't, don't be four gig man. Don't do it, it's a bad idea. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know if there's any other bottleneck type things that you want us to explore in future videos by chatting down in the comments down below. Don't forget that this video is brought to you by, it was brought to you by us, no, us and UFD deals. So check out UFD deals and all that good stuff. And don't forget that we also still have 28 TI giveaway going on, link in the description. Go check it out before you leave the video, do it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Your subscriptions really do mean a lot. Don't forget to check out our giveaway for the RTX 2080 Ti from Rootware, as well as the one terabyte NVMe drive if you guys want to increase your capacity on a whole bunch of stuff. Anyways, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.